Hola mi gente, hello my people, bienvenidos otra vez a mi canal. Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see that you guys are back for another video. It's always wonderful to see that you guys are actually watching the videos and subscribing as well. Thank you so much if you are subscribed. So I do want to let you guys know that I finally have a Patreon. So if you guys would like to join, you guys can check that out in the link um, in the description down below. And if you guys would like to help support me as an artist, you guys can also just visit the other links as well and use the codes that I have down below. This painting is inspired by Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, because during October 31st and November 2nd, it was Day of the Dead, so that's why I was painting this. So here on YouTube, you don't really see a lot of Latino or Latina artists um, doing these kinds of painting, like paintings that sort of represent their culture or just, you just don't really see a lot of uh, representation here on YouTube. Yeah, I was eating, I guess, hot chocolate and pan de muerto, which is just bread. And then I was just thinking of what I wanted to paint and then this came into mind. I have done um, a Katrina painting before which was last year but i never showed it um anywhere not even on social media or here on youtube so this year i really just wanted to be able to show you guys <music> Today's topic of the day is painting what you want to paint. And for me, that is things that represent me, my family, my culture, um, things that are part of history, you know, storytelling, things that are now, the past, the present, you know, the future. And overall, just whatever it is that I want to paint, I just want to be able to paint it and just focus on that more. Because um, I've done a lot of studies already. I've, done a lot of color theory a lot of anatomy and you know I've just sort of been in the past just focusing on that and now I actually want to be able to use those techniques and whatever I have learned into you know finally creating things that I want to paint such as this painting right here <clears throat> and with the paintings I want to be able to tell a story tell truth you know have meaning behind it and yeah, I think I'm finally at a place where I know what I want to paint and what I want to represent and, you know, what I want my art to be. And, you know, I think finally you can see that there is sort of like this um, style, I guess. It's not really a style because, you know, I'm still growing as an artist and things change and I'm continuously going to grow. So it's not really ever going to stay the same. But yeah, I think you can kind of see where I'm headed with this painting of the sort of things that you will be seeing from now on here on youtube on my social media and things like that but i think that's a good thing for me um i think i am really growing as an artist this year life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hoy en día estoy tratando de pintar cosas que me gusta pintar y cosas que me representan y representan mi familia y la historia y cultura y todo de eso y como ya ha hecho mucha práctica de cómo se dibujan los ojos, las pestañas o el pelo, también cómo se mezclan los colores, pues ahora ya puedo empezar a pintar lo que yo quiero pintar. Y pues aquí como ven, estoy pintando algo para Día de los Muertos. Y me vino la idea cuando estaba comiendo pan de muerto y tomando chocolate, así nomás de repente vino en mi mente. Y pues como vino en mi mente, pues así lo tenía que dibujar porque a veces no puedo esperar. Ah, porque luego se me va. Pero hay muchos 
dibujos en mi mente que, que tengo ahí guardado y todavía no lo ha sacado y lo ha pintado, pero aquí están guardados. Creo que quiero mirar más aquí como en los sociales y aquí en YouTube, you know, más, más representación, más diferente tipo de arte, porque hay muchos tipos de arte que todavía no conozco y muchos no conocen y pues es una buena manera de enseñar de arte y espero que crezca la comunidad aquí de latinos o mexicanos aquí en YouTube que hacen um, cuadros y artesanías y todo eso. Y tal vez podíamos inspirar a alguien más que quería ser parte de la comunidad de um, artistas aquí en YouTube o también tal vez podamos inspirar a alguien que ya empiece a pintar o que le gusta pintar y que sí se lo, sí lo pueden hacer también ellos. Y pues espero que crezca aquí el canal y espero que a muchos les guste en este video y um, el cuadro que estoy haciendo aquí. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down just be cool to see more latino artists here on youtube or even on social media such as like instagram or tiktok um showing their work just because you really don't normally see it too much i know before i started my youtube channel i was trying to look for latino artists and you know chicana artists but you know they weren't there um there are a few mexican artists um over there in mexico you know um creating youtube videos and you know Um, showing their artwork here on YouTube, which I love to watch. One of them is Catalina. I think she's a wonderful artist, and I love her art. And, you know, the work that she does is wonderful and beautiful. And there are a few other artists, too, that I really like here on YouTube that I just watch. But, yeah, I think it would be nice to have more representation here on YouTube, you know. Just people creating art and, you know, just building a community here. I think that would be wonderful, especially when it comes to... I guess culture and things like that. Just because I know it can get misrepresented sometimes. 
especially when it comes from someone that is not a part of that culture or doesn't know about the culture or really isn't informed about the culture and you know there's this huge thing about um cultural appropriation and misrepresentation overall um you know you see that a lot in the animation industry or just overall in the movie industry and you see it in the movie Pocahontas and Brother Bear. You see it in the movie Coco. Um, you know, you see it in the Alebrijes. You know, Alebrijes are already a form of artwork, you know. And in the movie, they get, obviously, they get appropriated. And appropriated basically just means it gets copied. Um, but, you know, when you appropriate, I guess, the Alebrijes, you know, you sort of take away the meaning behind what they represent and what they mean to the indigenous group. And, you know, now you're sort of just catering to the white audience. And, you know, now they think that this this culture is this way for that reason, you know. Even when creating this piece, I have to sort of ground myself on what is it that I want this painting to say, you know, what is the meaning behind this painting? That is what I try to ground myself on. Rather than, you know, focusing on trying to represent a group of people or, you know, just because I know that not all Mexicans celebrate Day of the Dead and, you know, it's not a celebration that everyone um, celebrates in Mexico. You know, it is a celebration for a specific group of people in Mexico and I have to understand the history behind it and also the symbols behind um the Katrina and Day of the Dead and also understanding the color palette of it all and yeah overall even I myself have to be aware that what I am painting you know people are gonna see and hopefully people you know understand what the painting is about and try not to twist it or you know hopefully they don't misunderstand what the painting is or Hopefully they don't think that all Mexicans celebrate the Day of the Dead or all Latinos celebrate Day of the Dead and, you know, or that all Mexicans trust like this 